The only way to dispel darkness is by introducing light. Stopping by this morning to help introduce some light into your day. We're looking at Matthew chapter four, a couple of verses. Starting at verse four, it says this, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Verse seven, Jesus said unto him, it is written again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Verse 10, then saith Jesus unto him, get thee hence Satan, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. As Jesus is being tempted of Satan, he responds to the temptation very simply with the word. He's not looking rather to uh, try to come at Satan and fight him in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but instead he approaches him with the word because the word is powerful. The word can cast out darkness. I love how he makes the statement, it is written. He understands that there is reasoning that can go forth. There are feelings that can go forth and all of those things can get you off course. If we submit ourselves to reasoning, if we submit ourselves to how we feel, we can end up off course. But if we will stick with what is written, we will never get off course. He approaches Satan's temptations with, I'm not going to allow feelings or reasoning to get in the way. Rather, I'm going to look at the word of God and I'm going to let the word inform me of how I am to act and what I am to do next. This morning, I am not fully aware of your condition, you that are listening and, and watching this today, but I know this, the word has something to say about it. If we make our decisions based on our feelings or based on reasoning and based on logic, then we end up in a position where we uh, can potentially fall and stumble and things get worse. But if we make decisions based on what is written, we will always succeed. The word of God never fails and it never fails us. I know that you might be in a tough time, but I'm asking you today, get into the word of God and consider what is written about that. What's written about your body being healed? What's written about your family being saved? What's written about your situation being made whole? What is written? Because the enemy is willing to offer you a whole lot and he's willing to encourage you to go after reasoning and to act based on your feelings. But you can take the example of Jesus Christ and say, it is written. Take some time today and let the word begin to shine light on your circumstance and consider what is written about my circumstance. What is it that God wants me to do? You can make your decisions based on a whole lot of things, but the only solid foundation is the word of God. So consider today what is written and move based on that. Again, I ask that you take some time that you share this devotional, not only that you share it, but that you take some time to introduce some light onto social media by posting a video of your own, encouraging people to worship God, encouraging people to look into his word. Turn the light on for somebody today. God bless you, love you, have a wonderful day.